this is my son B and thanks for joining me B demo in this video hello everyone this is my son B from bdemon.com and i am back with another ibm cognos analytic tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about data modules in our previous video we learned about the user interface or you can say home user interface so let's start first i want to upload some data files and my data files are available in my this folder so i'm going to upload these two files and then we are going to use this two file in our data model so i'm going to select these two files and then i'm going to drag and drop here so this is our first file and i'm fine with this so i'm going to click on ok so our first file is uploaded successfully now where is our second file so i'm going to select my second file also and i'm going to paste it i'm going to drag and drop this here so reading orders.txt select columns to use yes i want to use almost everything okay so for the timing let's say i want to ignore this text column so i'm going to select this text so i'm fine with this uh, and if you want to save these changes click on ok and now our two files are ready now in this two files in the first file orders.txt uh, I don't want to create dashboard. Okay, in our first file orders.txt, we have order related information, and in our second file, it contains shipment company related informations. So we are going to create a join between these two files to get the shipment company name from this file and order related information from this file. We are going to create a join inside data model. For this, I am to click on new and then I am to select data module. Okay, now we need to select our uploaded file. So I am to scroll and select my file from here or I can search for my file name and then I can select my file name. So we need to select these two files. These two files are selected. Then I am to click on that. So this is our new data module window or new data module page. The UI is almost same as compared to home page with the few exception. The first one is here, the open. This helps you to open any existing data module, but for it is not applicable. The second is for source view. Right now it is selected. So the source view, we can select the source. We can work on our data module. On the right, we have this work area where we can validate our data module. We can check the table contains. We can check the content of a particular table here. But right now we don't have anything. So that's why we are not able to see data. And the last is for creating relationship. In the bottom, uh, manage uh, manage is same it is available in home page also and in the bottom we have new so we are going to ignore this on the right try it is the new if you are going to click on this we are able to use this data module inside our report but our data module is not ready yet so that's why we are not able to click on try it for creating our data module, I'm going to first select my auto.txt file and then I'm going to drag and drop it here. Similarly, I am going to select my second file and then I'm going to drag and drop it here. And if you are able to notice, these two boxes are appear here. Now, if you want to check the content of any of this file, you need to click on or you need to select the file and then you are able to check the content of this selected file by uh, click on this grid icon now i am able to see the contents available in our order.txt file these are the contents for our order.txt file if you are familiar with the framework manager thumb rules you need to first use run metadata wizard to import database tables and views inside database layer and then 
you need to define the usage for each column so we are going to perform the same step here we are going to select our order.txt and then we are going to click on this arrow icon to expand the contents for order.txt these are our available columns in our order.txt file the first column is order id second is customer id employer id and so on if you want to change the property for any of this column you need to select the appropriate column and then you need to click on this ellipse then you can select properties we have some quick action also for example rename and hide but i'm not going to use this i'm going to click on properties so the label label is your column name let's say i want to add a space in our column name so i'm going to type it in label if you want to hide this column you can check this checkbox and now my order id is hidden the next property i want to change is the usage i want this or as a thumb rule we always define the usage of each column as a thumb rule in framework manager after importing database tables we are going to first define the usage for each column we are going to use we are going to use the same thumb rule here we are going to define the usage for each column our order id is a identifier for each each order so that's why its usage must be a identifier the aggregate function right now i don't want to perform any aggregation on order id so i can select none the data type for this is integer so i am fine with this we are not able to change this this is only for the information purpose represents for the timing ignore this we are going to cover this later next is the comments and screen tip if you want to provide any comments or screen tip you can provide your comment and screen tip here modify the sorting for order.txt you can enable sorting and you can select the column which you want to use for sorting and then you can define the sorting for order.txt so i'm going to select order and then i'm going to select ascending in the advanced option uh we have nothing it's uh, identifier order id and the source is order txt and then order id okay so i'm fine with this changes now i'm going to select the second column okay so our order id is identifier and customer id is attribute we are going to perform the same step but i am a lazy person i want to modify multiple columns at a time for this i am going to press control key from my keyboard and then i am going to select all the identifier so customer id employer id ship via is my identifiers so i am going to select these three columns and then i am going to select is usage as a identifier and aggregate i want none that's it so now over this three columns the usage are modified i am going to close this property and now for order date again i am going to click on properties order date attribute is fine similarly for required date attribute is fine shipping date yes it is a attribute and freight right this is our measure so i am fine with this i don't want to change this ship name again it is a attribute shipping address again it is a attribute mm, shipping city again it is a attribute reason postal code and country so we are fine with these changes in order.txt if you want to modify anything else feel free to modify i am going to collapse the order.txt and now i am going to perform the same steps in for our second file now i am going to select this and the first one our id is identifier so i am going to select this and i don't want to perform any aggregation here i am fine with this similarly company name and phone are fine those are attributes okay so this is all about the usage the next thing i want to define a relationship between these two data files for this i am going to click on diagram 
and this is our two files let me select the first one and this one is the second one now i want to create a relationship between these two for this for this i'm going to click on any of this uh, file right click and then i can select create relationship or i can right click here and i can select create relationship alternate you can click on this lips icon and you can select create relationship so i'm going to click on this and now we need to select the columns for which we need to create a relationship from our second file i'm going to select shipper uh, i'm going to select id similarly i'm going to select my second file from here and if you have multiple files available you can use search option also so i'm going to select my second file and from the second file i'm going to select order id and then i'm going to select match oh sorry sorry sorry, sorry. not order id we need to select a uh, ship wire or let me quickly uh, rename this so let me close this and i'm going to open order.txt i'm going to select this i'm going to rename this and let's say i want its ir name similar to available in our second file so i'm going to say shipper.id let me confirm yes and now again i'm going to select any of this file and then i'm going to click on create relationship and now i'm going to search for my column here i'm going to select this column similarly i'm going to select my second file i'm going to select the column okay and then i'm going to select match selected okay now a join or a relationship is created between these two columns the next and the most important thing we need to change its cardinality our each company shipping company is going to be associated with multiple orders so let me close this so the relation must be one to many okay our one shipping company is associated with multiple orders so that's why i'm going to select on this or you can click on this setting icon you can change the relation type one to many or many to one or if it is if the relation one to one is applicable then you can select one to one but for this or for these two files one to one is not applicable so i'm going to select appropriate one to many or many to one okay then we can select the relation type whether we want a inner join whether we want a left outer join right outer join or full outer join for our this video i'm going to select i'm going to say inner join let's assume we have mesh for each record then we have option for optimization no filtering join without filtering unique values and value range for the timing skip this and this is the cardinality and this is for join okay so this information is for join this information is for cardinality and this information for optimization okay so i'm fine with this changes and now i'm going to click on okay so our data module is almost ready and now i'm going to click on this floppy disk or i'm going to say i'm going to click on this icon to save my data module now we need to provide our data module we need to provide our location so i'm going to select my content and then i'm going to let's say if you want to create a new folder click on this plus icon and i'm going to say data module data modules and i'm going to select this folder and then i'm going to say let's say order okay finally i'm going to click on save and ignore the typo in the spelling if have if any now what we need to do now we can try our this data module inside report so i'm going to click on this try now and a pop-up is blocked so i'm going to select the pop-up and then i'm going to select always allow and then finally to click on that again i'm going to click on try it and uh 
reporting is open in the new tier so reporting part we are going to cover we are going to create our first report in our next video so if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe click on bell icon for getting the latest video updates like share provide your feedback and see you all in next video some important reminders